Hello and welcome to this uh, very short episode of Trash to Track. Now in this episode we're going to be looking at this Hornby West Country class. Um, There's got a problem with it which appears to be becoming uh, prevalent in the early 2000s era Hornby models. Namely that of the fact that um, the intermediate cog between the motor and the wheels has split. Now as you'll see here this is a loco drive model and the loco wheels are able to be turned independently. Now that shouldn't be able to happen, that should be locked in place with the motor. So if I put a battery test on it like this, you can clearly hear the motor buzzing away but there's no action to the wheels. So I thought I'd do this trash to track as a bit of a how-to on how to replace these split gears in these models if you happen to have one in your collection. Now to disassemble this West Country the first thing you have to do is remove the front pony truck with this Phillips screw that holds the entire assembly on. And once that's been removed this reveals a flat headed screw there. And this is then removed although on this model it was very tight. This model I don't think has had any uh, running at all it was bought for a collection and the gear has split while it's been in storage i'm just checking there to make sure there's no speedo drive and now that that screw's been removed it's a case of gently applying pressure downwards to unclip the chassis from the body shell there is a clip in the cab you have to disengage and then the body and chassis are separate and you can see here that this is a dcc ready model now to gain access to that troublesome cog or more correctly gear you have to remove this cover plate that covers the motor worm gear and that is held in place with one screw so removing that screw and uh, it gets caught up in that wire so i just use my tweezer nose pliers to remove it this allows that cover to be removed and it gives you access to the motor worm gear well it does when i can get my hands on it so there's the motor worm gear and there is the intermediate uh, gear inside there that we need to replace so we need to remove the motor, so the next stage is to remove the motor mounting bracket from the rear, again using a small Phillips screwdriver. And once that's out of the way, you can gently move the motor out of the way. Now this is held in place with a small amount of black tack. And here we have the offending gear. Now you can clearly see the crack in it there, um, just to the right hand side. And the gear is actually spinning on its, uh, on its spindle, so that is absolutely knackered, it is no good. I had tried to superglue it, but the forces of the motor just rip it apart. Now, as luck would have it, I do have a spare one. This is out of a Hornby Princess, which is the same part number. The Princess, unfortunately, having suffered from maze acro and was beyond economic repair. But locos like that do provide handy spares for rebuilds like this. So there is the gear. It's all just falling apart there. And uh, this is prevalent in these 2000 era Hornby models. Now, I have... Uh, I've got a couple of engines in store for trash to track um, that have got this problem so we'll look at those in the future but it is worth keeping an eye out so i put the new uh, replacement gear back in the slot there um, it will only go in one way you need to make sure it's orientated correctly the motor is then refitted and just a word of warning the motor has to go on a certain way to fit in the motor retainer and all i'm doing here is temporarily putting it back together so that I can give it a battery test to make sure that the gear I've put in is meshing correctly with the motor. And as soon as I put the battery on there, you can see that the wheels were turning. So now I've stripped it back down again and I'm just going to clean everything up. Now the old yellowed grease off the Princess gear, this was cleaned away with a cotton bud and methylated spirits as I normally do. And all the old gear off this Merchant Navy was cleaned. As like I said, this belonged to a person who had it in their collection, but I don't believe it's ever been ran. And I'll tell you uh, there's a reason for that later on. But I'll come to that later. Now Now it's all been cleaned. I'm using the last remnants here of my silicon grease before I go on to my label stuff. And I'm going to put some grease on this new gear. It looks a lot on camera, but there's not really that much there. Once it's spread through the drivetrain, I mean, this model is um, 10, 12 years old maybe, and it, the lubrication has all dried up. Once the grease is on, I'm going to put a tiny amount of oil using this Fleischmann pin dropper onto the um, gear shaft there because it spins in the die cast chassis weight. 
The motor is then put back in place and then a small amount of silicon grease is also put onto the motor worm gear. Now, watching this back, maybe I did put a little bit too much grease on this, but as I said, this model isn't even running yet. It is completely dry, so I don't believe it's excessive this time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this uh, worm gear cover back on and then secure it in place with its screw. And then we are all but re uh, we've all but rebuilt this model back into running condition. Now there are a few other little things we can do. As you'll see here, the wheels are turning nicely from the rear and the centre wheel. The front wheel was a little bit intermittent, so I did adjust the pickup on that. I've also now fitted a decoder. Now I only did this for testing because my layout is DCC, and as this was a DCC ready model, I keep this TCS decoder in my toolbox. Um, away from the tools obviously but I keep it in my toolbox as a testing decoder so that if I have a model in for repair I can put this in it so long as it's 8 pin and give it a spin on my DCC layout so the decoder this model is built with a hollow in the boiler weight and the coat decoder fits in there and the body shell is reunited with the chassis by first engaging the two clips under the cab minding minding this uh, pipework detail here and it is a gentle it takes some gentle persuasion but eventually the two clips engage and the chassis is back where it should be a quick battery test as i said those front wheel pickups need adjusting but now i know that no wires have been crimped or broken i will replace the screw in between the cylinders that holds the body shell onto the chassis and then i'll refit the pony truck that we took off at the start of the rebuild And now that's all back together, and uh, as I've said before, don't over tighten your screws because you can end up threading them, and that just causes more headaches. But now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to clean the wheels. Now this is one of the reasons I don't think this model has had any, if if not much use at all. It's because when I was cleaning the wheels, the Hornby factory applied weathering was still on the wheels. The overspray was still on the wheel treads. Now if this had had any running, that would have worn off. And it hasn't. And uh, the brown stuff that come off there was indeed uh, weathering. Now at the start of the um, video with the battery test, the Loco wouldn't run on its own without the tender. But now the pickups have been adjusted and the wheels clean, the model is happy to run on its own. And it runs even better when its tender's connected. These Merchant Navies and West Country class Locos were first introduced in the early 2000s, which is putting them on for nearly a quarter of a century old now. But the detail and running qualities of this model is fantastic. And I'm happy to say that although I did this repair for the local model shop, Trains For You, this loco is now part of my operational fleet. As when I was filming these scenes of it running round, it just looks superb. If you've got an engine you'd like to see featured in a future episode of Trash to Track, please email me at dansmodelrailways at gmail.com or have a look again at sent over and it may feature in an episode all of its own. You can see here that they... Uh from this footage that the gear is working well in this merchant navy so i'm pleased we've been able to reactivate this to service thanks again for watching trash to track please like share and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video bye for now